Although the Metro employees did not attend the demonstration as they were allegedly not allowed to go on the lunch break, those that were dismissed together with the community at large demonstrated to stop management from further dismissing employees unfairly. There is two that, that still in suspension. And if you, look, if you look at the charge, it's just some simple thing and the, and, and the person is dismissed. Such as coming a bit late and you are dismissed. So uh, they are just uh, doing something which is not done and you think that they are dismissed. Everything that was provided, charges that was provided by the company, there was no proof. When we asked footages, we did, we did get the footages of different date of incident. So an employee was given two notice of this plenary year. One notice was for 21 of uh, May 2023. Just imagine May. We are in now August. But the disciplinary hearing takes place in August, which is not he says those notices are unfair as incidences the employees are accused of are backdated to about four months ago and are considered null and void. The union says 14 employees were dismissed since the beginning of the year. The union wants the manager dismissed or transferred elsewhere. Namibia Food and Allied Workers Union handed over a petition to the metro manager who is still to comment on the allegations. Evelyn Polis, NBC News, Rothfontein.